Hey there, welcome to PCDailyTips.com. In today's video, we are going to uh, export Alpha channel in Adobe Premiere Pro. So, uh, I have already here in my uh, screen on my Adobe Premiere Pro, I have a simple image here and then a lower third that I put it already in video 2 and the image I put it in video 1. And if I just play a playback, as you can see, this animate. So I did already try many methods and I will show you what we what will work for me because I usually also use a lower third in Camtasia program so um, I did already try FLV and QuickTime and the best would be QuickTime I will show you what I mean so uh, once I export in FLV uh, format flash format and if I open it with uh, VLC it will show the green background as you can see it's gone it's um, it's doesn't show the animation. But if I import this FLP to um, Adobe Premiere Pro and then just use it, so I just delete this, uh, undo that, so I just delete this, the first lower third and I just use the logo FLV as my uh, animation here. And let's see what happened moment and as you can see my animation is showing so however if I use in uh, Camtasia there it is so I also have the similar image here and if I import media and let's import the logo.flv uh, here and import it and it shows that the files are unsupported or damaged so it doesn't want to import it at all so uh, what can be safe is actually using the uh, QuickTime. So let's do that. So I'm just going to delete that FLV and put my uh, lower third here again and let's import the lower third. That basically it's alpha channel. So just delete the image because I just want to um, import this uh, a lower third and it can be images and anything but now it's a um, QuickTime already uh, movie as lower third. So uh, what you can do is click on file and then export in media and you have keyboard shortcuts as uh, command and M. Let's try, let's try keyboard shortcut with command and M and it will bring you then the export setting here. So if I go to source, this is my source, you can crop it if you like but for now I just, I don't want to crop it and um, let's check on output and make sure that the output is there. We go to export setting here. For format, you're going to choose QuickTime. And then I don't want to export audio, so I just untick it and it will uh, becoming custom for the presets. And let's click on this uh, output name and save it to anywhere you like. I'm going to save it in my uh, desktop as lower third and desk right. And make sure that the file format is .move and then save. And for the summary, as you can see now, we have uh, our output here which has the uh, dimension 720 times 480 which is different than, than the source. So uh, let's fix it. Go scroll down until you are in video tab. So the most important here is this video tab. Others you can leave by default. And the video codex, you're going to choose animation and then scroll down and quality you're going to drag this uh, slider to 100 and for the uh, width you're going to click on that aspect ratio icon just click that so it will not be uh, maintaining the aspect ratio when you change the width and we change the width as the same as the source so it's 1,200 uh, 1, and then the um, height will be 180 and as you can see now it has the same dimension that's okay and scroll down and from for frame rate you're going to choose 29.97 and for the aspect you're going to choose square pixels one and this is the most important so when you uh, render this lower third or alpha channel you, mu you must choose the depth as um, 32 bit otherwise it won't show the alpha channel so you have to choose 32 bit and then you can click that render at maximum depth that I usually did it so it will 
uh, rendered in the maximum uh, depth of 30 bit. So, so now we can try to export it and it will uh, export nice alpha channel with a nice um, a transparency for the video in QuickTime movie. So let's export it. So once it's exported, let's go to our desktop and see what we get. And as you can see, this is the lower third and that's right that we've just exported. And let's go to uh, Camtasia or other program to test if this lower third actually work with other program. So I'm going to open my untitled project here and then going to import this lower third and we will see what will happen. It was in desktop and lower third that's right dot move and then import it. And there it is, my lower third, and let's uh, export it here. And as you can see now, that's our lower third that actually work. So I'm going to put it somewhere in location where I like, and let's play it quick. There it is. Now it's transparent and uh, having alpha channel from Premiere Pro. So that's quick to the uh, quick tip for today. I actually had this problem uh, many days ago. That's why I share this tip for you, and I hope it will be helpful for you as well. So thank you so much for watching, and please like this video if it's helpful for you. Take care of yourself, and see you next time. Goodbye.